So we're in front of our D-Hop four spindle automated gun drill. We can load 48 barrels into this drilling machine and then send it on for ream and rifling. Hey, at Technical Kinetics, we're using a lean manufacturing system to run single piece flow through our shop. We've got gun drill blanks that are going, going into our automated ream and rifle operations. So here we're gonna ream the barrels, bring them up to size and get a better surface finish from the drill. This barrel that we're reaming right now is a 5.56, 16 inch mid length. Then we're gonna rifle a barrel. So right now we're gonna rifle a barrel. This is a 5.56, 16 inch mid length. It'll be a one and seven twist. Ella is checking the size of the bore with this Edmonds air gauge. And the, oh, she's gonna first. She's gonna check the rifling. So she's making sure that the rifling is on size. And now she's going to check the diameter of the bore all the way through the barrel. So after the rifling, of the barrels, they'll go out for stress relief and a vacuum stress relief process that we don't do currently in-house. They come back in and go to the next operation. All of our barrels are turned concentric from the bore to the OD within a thousandth over the length of 16 inches, 17 inches in this case. So here's the barrel with the mill scale Here's the barrel after turn concentric. And then Cody's gonna check the barrel OD. And he's also gonna use a ring gauge to make sure that the barrel is straight. So now Cody's gonna check the barrel for concentricity. And what we're looking for is less than a thousandth of an inch. Next step at Tactical Kinetics is proprietary, so we're not gonna view those machines, but you'll see the end result of the profiling as we go into the chambering process. Here is a contoured barrel, 16 inch mid-length, 
556 one and seven twist that we're going to put the chamber in now. And if you look this way, Ella's checking headspace on a barrel after it's been chambered. Every barrel at Tactical Kinetics gets checked for headspace in the chambering operation and then again at assembly. Here's a chambered barrel ready to go to um, Black Knight Tried coating, which is done at Parker True Tech in Sevierville, Tennessee. You can see the surface finish in the chamber is very good. We pride ourselves on the quality of the chamber, as well as the whole barrel. This is our custom ground 556 chamber reamer, rough chamber reamer. And here is our custom ground finished chamber reamer. This barrel, TK1980, is a 18.7 inch, nine millimeter direct blowback for the Canadian market. Ella's checking the surface finish on the uh, 556 mid-length 223 barrel that we've been walking through the process on. This is called a profilometer and our surface finish is survey says 15 which is very good i think our spec is 32 yeah so we're half the spec on the surface finish of that barrel she's going to check it three times and then we're going to what's that three different points in the barrel and then we're going to go put this on the cmm and check the diameter of the chamber and the throat. In the quality lab, we have a surface hardness tester. So we test all incoming material for both our rifle and pistol barrels based on the mill certification from the steel mill. We also have a Zeiss Spectrum CMM there's an identical machine to this in our handgun barrel building. And then a, a Zoller tool presetter where we set tools for our mills, not so much the lathes. Um, and then we can also check barrel lengths and roundness on this machine within microns. Ella just set up the 556 mid-length barrel and she's gonna check the chamber. Right now she's checking for headspace. After passing quality inspection, we package, label, and ship our barrels across the country.